Hello and welcome back to another MATLAB video. Today we will be discussing the creation and use of a dictionary. This is a useful skill for anyone who wants a fast, scalable method for organizing and searching through datasets comprised of any data type. A dictionary is a special data type that is optimized for fast lookups. Dictionaries store keys and values. You can retrieve a value from a dictionary using its key. This key value pair is called an entry. When looking up a value, one can call its associated key. A dictionary can be created using the dictionary function and manually inputting entries. Once a dictionary is created, you can add new key value pairs, return the value associated with a given key, replace the value at a given key, and delete an entry. These processes of dictionary creation, value retrieval, and value replacement can be vectorized. This means you can input vectors of keys and values, much more easily creating a dictionary from an entire set of data. You can also add, return, replace, and delete entries using vectorized operations. Dictionary keys can be virtually any MATLAB data type, but they must be all the same type. The same goes for dictionary values. If you need to store keys or values of different types, you can place each key or value entry in a cell. Just remember to use curly braces when calling a key that's a cell. IsKey is a function that returns a logical value based on if the given key exists in the dictionary. IsKey returns a 1 if the key exists in the dictionary and a 0 if the key does not exist. NumEntries returns the number of entries in the dictionary. The keys function returns every key in the dictionary, while the values function returns every value in the dictionary. The entries function returns the dictionary in a desired format. The default format is a table, but a structure or cell can be specified as well. In this video, we have discussed the creation and use of a dictionary in MATLAB. We are now more equipped to simplify and optimize lookups in large sets of data. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.